PubMed via LHL searching for articles. In this demonstration, we are going to search PubMed for new treatments on relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis, and we're going to focus on how they compare with treatment with interferon beta. There are two concepts in this search, relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis and interferon beta. So we will put these terms in the PubMed search box to find articles containing both concepts. You do not need to use AND in PubMed. That is default. And you don't use quotes around phrases or PubMed will turn off its automatic mapping feature. We'll click on Go and there are 1,333 results of which 237 are review articles and 1,048 are available here at UAB. Let's see how PubMed ran that search. This is the search details box. I'd like to see it a little larger so I'll click on see more. You'll see that multiple sclerosis relapsing remitting was searched as a medical subject heading or a MeSH term. And a variety of keywords were also searched. This will bring up new articles that have not yet been indexed. Interferon beta was also searched both as a MeSH term and as a keyword. Should you see something unexpected or prefer to eliminate some of the keywords, you can simply delete them and then rerun your search. Returning to the search, let's refine and refocus it. 1,333 articles are too many to look at. On the left sidebar, there is a list of filters. You can choose additional one by using the show additional filters here. One that is often used is ages. And if you click on show, it'll be there. So I'm interested in new articles, so I'd like to look over the past three years. So I will put in 2010 through 2012 and apply. As filters are activated, they're listed here. I'm interested in studies in humans, and I read English. Now I'll choose some article types. Clinical trials includes randomized control trials. And I'm interested in systematic reviews, meta-analyses, and if I'd like to see more, I can click on the more. I was looking for comparative studies, so I can make that show and then choose it as well. Now I can double check to make sure all of my filters are activated, and you'll see that that result set has dropped to 85 results. If I'd like to remove any filters, I can just click on them over here. And if I want to get rid of all of them, I can clear them here. So we have refined our search to a focused group of citations that should have exactly what we need. To save the search, click on Save Search. You will be asked to log into your MyNCBI account. If you don't have one, you can register here or sign in with a Google account. And then you're given the option to save your search. And then you can choose to have automatic email updates sent to you on a schedule of your choosing anytime a new article is added that meets that search results. If you need help in finding search terms, filtering your search, or using my NCBI to save it, please chat, email, phone, or text a Lister Hill librarian.